Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy Tab E 9.6. Okay, so a few days ago, I made a video showing you all Android 8.1 Oreo running on this tablet. And in the comment section of that video, quite a few people left a comment asking me to do a tutorial on how to install Android 8.1. So today I'm going to show you how to do that from scratch. So at the moment, this tablet's running the stock Android 4.4.4 KitKat, which is pretty much outdated. And this is the T560 model, by the way. So yeah, KitKat is pretty much outdated, guys. As you can see, um... Let me just open up YouTube. YouTube doesn't work anymore. So if I go to install now. As you can see, it says your device isn't compatible with this version. I can't install Zoom. I can't make zoom call video calls can't do anything um like i says kitkat is pretty much outdated guys so um yeah i'll be showing you all how to update to android 8.1 however do be warned 8.1 is still in development so there's quite a few bugs the main one being the camera doesn't work also the battery life isn't as good as kitkat Android 4.4.4 so yeah just be warned bear that in mind however it's pretty much stable um, everything else seems to be working fine um, I don't get no random reboots with Android 8.1 I tested it for like two three days it did not reboot once like I said it's just mainly the camera and the battery life However, everything else does seem to work okay. So if you want to try out Android 8.1, you can go ahead and follow the steps that I'm about to show in this video. Okay, so first of all, you will need to download these four files. So Lineage 15, this is the Android 8.1 ROM, Odin, TWRP 3.5.2 and TWRP 3.0.2 so I'll leave a link to all four of those files in the description down below next just simply connect to your tablet to the USB cable and the PC so just plug in the USB cable to the PC and also the tablet so that you can access the storage And then just locate your tablet. And then you can either place the Lineage file for Android 8.1 ROM, either onto the internal storage or the SD card if you have one installed. So I've placed it on there already. So just drag and drop it onto there. As you can see, this file already exists in this location, so I'm not going to copy it. But just drag and drop it into there, and then you should see it. So there it is. And then from there, just simply turn off the tablet. So press the power button on the side. and power off the tablet sorry about that guys my belly's making a few noises I've just had some tea to drink and then you can um, unplug the USB cable and then now you're gonna press the volume down button volume down the home button and also the power button so you're going to hold all three down at the same time. So press volume down first, keep it held down, press the power button, I mean the home button, sorry, and the power button. 
So remember guys, volume down, hold it down, and hold down the home button and hold down the power button. Hold down all three at the same time. So I'm gonna do that real quick, back in a moment. Okay guys, so I'm back again. So I held down all three at the same time. Volume down, home button and the power button. And it took me to this screen which says warning. And then just simply use the volume up button to continue. And it should say downloading. And then now you can just reconnect the USB cable to the tablet. Okay, so next, just go to the Odin file and right click on it and select Extract All and then select Extract. And then double tap to open up the Odin and then double tap on the Odin application. And then hit OK. OK, so here on Odin where it says ID com, it should be blue. If yours is still gray, that means you need to install the Samsung drivers and the best way to install the Samsung drivers is to Google Samsung keys. So Samsung keys, Google it, download it, install it on your PC and then connect your tablet to Samsung keys and it will install the drivers. Once it's finished installing the drivers, go ahead and close down Samsung keys and then open up Odin again, connect your tablet to Odin and also the PC and then it should turn blue and it should say added. Okay, so from here, just go ahead and select AP and then select desktop where you have your downloaded files and then select the TWRP 3.0.2.1 file and then just go ahead and hit start come on focus camera just go ahead and hit start And it should say pass and then go ahead and select exit. Okay, so from here, just go ahead and power off the tablet once again. And then this time, just unplug it, unplug the USB cable. This time we're gonna press the volume up button, volume up, home button, and the power button. So hold all three down. So just remember volume up, home button, and the power button. Hold all three down. So I'm just gonna do that real quick back in a second. Okay, so once you've done that, it should take you to this screen. So we are now in TWRP recovery mode and then just swipe across. And then select mount and connect the USB cable once again to the tablet. Okay, let me just do that. Okay guys, the reason I selected mount is because I wanted to access the internal storage on the tablet because I forgot to put this TWRP file onto the internal storage of the tablet. 
but no problem. I can't seem to access it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reboot the tablet to system to system. Sorry about that guys. I forgot to put that file onto the internal storage. So try do that at the beginning. So when you put the lineage file onto the, the internal storage, put this file onto there as well. Sorry, this file, the 3.5.2 file. Sorry about the little confusion there guys. Okay, so let me just, um, Let's try get access to the internal storage. So let me just put that onto there. So TWRP 3.5.2, yeah, make sure that's on your internal storage from the start. So just remember when you put the lineage file onto your internal storage, put this file onto there as well. I forgot to do that guys. And then once again, just power off the tablet. And go back into the TWRP recovery. You can unplug the USB cable. So remember to go back into TWRP. You're going to press the volume up button. The home button and also the power buttons at the same time and keep them held down. So I'm gonna do that once again real quick and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. So remember, just keep the volume up button, the home button and the power buttons held down until it takes you to this screen. And then now, just select wipe Swipe factory reset, then go back, go back, select install, then select image, and locate the TWRP file. So this is an image file, select it, and then select recovery, and then swipe to confirm flash, and then Go back, go back, go back, select reboot, then select reboot recovery. And as you can see, we've got the new team win recovery number there. And then select install and locate the lineage file. So if it's on the internal storage, if you saved it to the internal storage, it should show up there. If you saved it to your SD card, select storage, and then select your micro SD card and locate it from there. So now just go ahead and select it and then swipe to confirm flash.
if the screen goes dim, just tap on it to wake it back up. Okay, so just wait for it to say done. Then wipe cache Dalvik. Swipe to wipe. Wait for it to say done. Then just hit reboot system. Okay, so once it's finished booting up, just go ahead and set it all up. Okay, let me just connect to the Wi-Fi real quick. Okay, so we are in. Okay, so you're gonna see quite a few little crashes happen. Oh, in fact, you won't see it 
if you do see any crashes happen, it's because of the Play Store. So I don't have the Play Store installed, but you might see the Play Store um, on yours. If you do, just go to apps and default apps and look for the Play Store and Google Google services and uninstall the Google services and also the Play Store just uninstall everything and the crashing will stop so as you can see Android version 8.1.0 So yeah, this is Android 8.1, Oreo, now installed onto the tablet. Okay, so let me just um, go to the browser. So like I said, if, if you have any crashes, uninstall the Play Store and uninstall the Google services. And then just open up the browser on the tablet and type in... Aurora Space Store. And then click on the link. And then select download APK. Select allow. And then download it. And then pull down the notifications and select the file. Go into settings, turn this little switch on, then select back and then hit install. And then select open. And you can skip all of this. So you can log in with a Google account or anonymously. Okay, so it's saying failed to generate session. Let's just close that down. And then try to open it up again. Okay, so I'm gonna try login with a Google account. Back in a second, guys. Okay, so I've just logged in using a Google account. And the Aurora Store is just like the Play Store, guys. You can get all the applications that you want to download from within the Aurora Store.
so yeah guys that's it for the video um hopefully like i says this rom's in the early stages of development but i'm just happy that <laughs> we can now finally update from android 7.1 to android 8.1 or if you were stuck on Android 4.4.4 stock KitKat, you can now update it to Android 8.1. So yeah, hopefully over the next few months, the developer will get on top of things and will have everything working on the ROM, like the camera and the actual Google Play Store and some improvement on the battery life as well. But for now, I'm quite happy with the 8.1. It's working okay for me. And if you don't like this and you want to return back to Android 4.4.KitKat or you want to um, install Android 7.1, I will leave links to my tutorials in the description down below. But yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys be sure to give the video a thumbs up also share the video if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe let me just change the wallpaper so yeah that's it guys i'm out see you in the next one deuces Oh, one last thing, guys. Um, to download the Android 8.1 ROM, when you click the link in the description down below, it's going to take you to this page here. Just scroll down and click on this link here to download the ROM. So click on it and you will see the download link here. Anyway, that's it guys, I'm out, doses.